How's it going? Here we go with another vlog on Asian muscle with Justin Shire. I kept saying Justin Shear. <laughs> he gave me shit for it. It's Justin Shire. Not Justin Shear. And Quentin. Quint Beastwood. I think he's warming up or something. So uh, let's go see the newest aged muscle drop for the merch. So Jordan, the newest shirts, the bubble HD black shirts. Oh, it's over there. Cool logo here. I don't want to unfold it, but. Is this new? Yeah, it's new. It's called the bubble. Good stuff. Let's see it, the bubble. Yeah, well, maybe uh, <laughs> let's grab a triple X. HD muscle. Can you see that? Boom. Hell yeah. Like, There's yeah, Quentin right here. Yeah. He's your eye. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you used to really go for yeah. it, rip it up. Right? Yeah, I used to rip it up. We used to rip it up. You and Regan. So what? Why you had to change? Oh, because uh, we did a podcast and it was getting steamy in there. I was uh, having some little under boob sweat that transferred all the way up to my armpits and my lower back. So I had to change the shirt to look fresh for the workout. Well, actually, the real issue was he was. He was cramping my style and I made him change. Yeah. <laughs> I told him you're not allowed to wear what I'm wearing. Yeah, I guess. Well, well actually it was because he just didn't look as good as me in it. But yeah, we just got a big, we actually just got a big order of a whole bunch of old Body Masters and old yeah. Hammer. Like the Body Master stuff, CXP. I don't know if you ever used it, no, but it converges. So. I'll show you. This row is awesome. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I've seen you and uh, I've seen you and Nick using like a Body Masters row. Yeah, it looked really this good. Flat press, is so good. Wait, version, yeah, right. oh, that looks it amazing. Looks like you're like, it's like a fly press. Yeah, they're really good. I love this stuff. I could just like walk around here for hours and hours and hours. Justin, how did you get into equipment and having your own gym? I so? mean, I just we bought our gym in 2018. I wasn't even bodybuilding at the time. I wasn't even competing. Yeah. I was just like into training. I just like training. And then uh, we took over the place. And I think that like, once you actually have your own space, you get invested in these things. And you, like before that, I had no idea what good equipment was. I knew when I got on hammer strength stuff, it felt good, yeah. you know, but I didn't really know like the nuances of these, yeah. these equipments. And then you start, you know, hunting things down and honestly traveling. I think once I started traveling more with bodybuilding, you start going to these other gyms. Like I went to, um, what's that gym? Uh, like Madtown Fitness, oh, you know that guy? Atlanta. Yeah, no, no, not in Atlanta, it's in, um, in Madison, Wisconsin. But that guy has like the craziest showroom floor of equipment. I was like blown away. I was like, holy wow. shit. I think we went there like 2019. It's great. I dive right in. Yeah. You know, yeah. like Research researching day. constantly. Yeah. And like I'm just, and I, honestly, like this is the stuff that, you know, we rely on this equipment to. Yeah. These are the tools. Yeah. This is the tool. So it's really important. I think yeah. a lot of people, some people aren't like equipment heads. I don't think they respect or understand the value. I think it's of gonna like, be like love good and real equipment too, right? Yeah, like you I love fucking train, love training. Right? Yeah, you see yeah. it. When you're training. I mean, I bought a gym before I was a bodybuilder. Before I competed as a bodybuilder, I bought oh. a gym because I love training. And yeah. obviously, Jasmine loved training, so it was just like a, a thing for us to do. Yeah, that was like a compatible, mutual interest that we had. And That's then, awesome. um, yeah, then I obviously competed in 2019. Yeah. The rest is history. Yeah. yeah. So funny enough, this shirt was actually designed based off of the U-Haul trucks, and here we are. <laughs> All right, HD Elite, code Shire 10, best in the biz. First exercise, rope cable pullover. Yeah. Are you going to narrate everything? <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. We got our narrator today. Rep number four. He's leading the, the workout. Rep number five. Antoine's narrating. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. You are? Yeah, are you a strong stronger. guy? I'm stronger than him. Well, I've seen him do barbell rows with like four, four plates easily. So. Him? Yeah. Oh, please. Yeah, that's, I've seen that's him. That's nothing. No, I actually quit and proved yesterday he's stronger than me. <laughs> no. But he weighs 200 pounds more than me, so he should be stronger than me. Mm. We're going to press it progressive <laughs> overload like it's 1996, Dolan Yates style. Come on. <laughs> You're set? My set? Your set. My set, okay. I'm going to go inside you. All right, now i got to follow that. You feel good? Okay. So your first rep, you want to just like keep the same just keep pace? It, yeah, same same just pace. keep it smooth. And that okay. last one kind of make me work for it a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. 
Come on, huh? Where's the rock? <clears throat> Tell me when. <clears throat> Come on. Okay. Let's go three more. Oh. Come on. <clears throat> right, two more. Come on. Last <clears throat> one. Work it. Work it. Let's go. Good. Beautiful. That's good, yeah. 20 years old last time I did a full stack on the cable pullover. Whoa! Good. Get those elbows back. Dig them deep. There you go. Good. Yeah. Come on. Not a stretch. Help me out. Good. Good. Ooh, like a dolphin. <laughs> one more. Here's another one. Head up. Where's all that power coming from? <laughs> what do you mean? You start failing and then you try to cheat. Generate power. I, I use other muscles that you're not supposed to use. <laughs> yeah. to That's the why his legs are so big. <laughs> he I use the legs. Lot, he used a lot of quads through that. Yeah. All right. The champ. The surprise of the show right here, Robin Strand. Oh, well, You know? Making me blush. When people thought he was <laughs> quitting, even his coach, he was like, I wonder if you should do it. He was like, no, I'm not going to quit. There's a problem. What's the solution? Let's do that. Let's do our best. And then he was uh, top four amongst three other pro show winners, including two Olympians. So good job, man. Thank you very Keep much. Keep it up. It's an honor. Yeah. No quit, all heart. No quit, all heart. <laughs> That's the quote of the fucking day. Let's go. I lower my shoulder down, put the, put the hips back when I, when I roll. And then as I pull, kind of lay back a little bit. Well, pretty pressure down. Right just through, yeah. I like it. Yeah. It feels good. I mean, I've never done it like that, but yeah, it feels good. I was up to what weight is gonna feel like. Yeah, I'm right. Lose, I'm lose yeah, it, exactly. but whatever. All right, let's go. The Panada Super High Rail. Let's try this thing out. Yeah. First time. So yeah, this it's one, my first uh, time using it. Justin wanted to try, it, right? Yeah, we'd want to try it. It's actually for sale. I'd say there's one for sale. <laughs> yeah. So I was talking to Dorian about maybe getting this for my gym. So I figured I might as well take it for a test drive first. <laughs> yeah. Before, can, I, before adjust, I spend twenty thousand dollars on also here. One, one piece. You see right here. You can adjust this part here. Okay. Because Q used it. I used it. It seemed fine the way it was, but maybe you, you like it the gotcha. settings. Maybe I'm a sh I'm a short one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There we go. So that's the semi supination. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. I like that that hand positioning. There's also a pretty much neutral grip and semi pronation. But this one is good. That's it. Oh, nice. Oh, fuck you, man. Germans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, super nice. Hey, Quint, you know what you should try? I love that. You should try holding with your hand all the way in on the bottom. And I think that'll just bring your elbows a little closer to the side so you just be more in your lap. Did you put the, ch the seat back what it was? No, I didn't. I, I did. I lowered it. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Big Q. You see what I mean? Yeah. I think you're just getting into your lap a little bit better there like that. Yeah. So what we're talking about is just elbow path. Elbow path is always going to dictate what part of your back you work in. So I just told him bringing his hands in a little bit was going to bring those elbows closer to the body, which means you're just going to be able to dig into your lats a little bit more, opposed to being here where you're going to get into your mid-back, teres, rhomboids. What we're trying to do is really keep the elbows tucked in tight and dig into the lats. Auf gains! Auf gains! Yeah. Auf gains! Auf gains! Go on this side. Come on, Q. There we go. Good, Quint. That's it. That's two reps. That's three. That's four. Good. Come on. That's five. Let's go. Another one at least. Yeah. Come on. Seven. Yeah, there Eight. you go. Good, Quint. Come on. That's yep. it. Go. Good. Nice. Ten. Whoa, Good. you got him. Yeah, there you go. Drop set, drop set. Drop the two. Are you wanting to do a drop set here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Make them hard. Make these hard. 
You, you don't want to do a thousand reps here. Make it the hardest you can. Yeah. That's Good. it. Auf geht's. Oh, Auf yeah. geht's. Let's go. Good, Quinn. You want to do a rest pause this one? Oh, no. I got, I got, I got, you got it. Those big guys using all the way. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, lots. That's good. That's good for me. Good. Good. Press pause. Press pause. Mm -hmm. The last rep there. It's not the rear surgeons. It's not the rear surgeons of power. Yeah. You do reps. that. You find those. Cheek reps. <laughs> you have yeah. <laughs> cheek reps. I'll give a good example of that. Strictest reps I can. Good, come on. And now, look at that, guys. Yep. See that? That's where you see, guys. Put your weight around like that. Nothing is working. Lock it down. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. Some real American muscle right here. Come on. Let's go. These are good. That's it. Keep going. They're still good. Keep going. Yeah, we're getting there. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> on the last, boom, <laughs> so partial reps, Ooh, it's... I did the most reps, yeah, you did, if it moves an inch it's a rep, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, it's a drop okay. set, on the rest pause, let's go, <laughs> yeah, Stretch it up, squeeze it down. <coughs> Come on. Yep. <coughs> what I do for rest balls, I either count to like 15, 20, or I do like three to five big breaths like that. You don't want to rest too long. You also don't want to rest too short. Yeah. Because then you got to find a good, good middle ground. For everybody, it's different. Here we go. That was just 10 deep breaths. You do 10? Come on. <clears throat> Let's go. Feel that? Yep. Ooh, what's that? Oh. Did you feel those oh, four shots? That's perfect. Oh yeah, I split yeah. right here. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Worked out really good. So I don't know if these guys talked to you about what we're trying to do here, but we are trying to utilize this as a lat row. So you can see my hand positioning. I'm going to pronate the wrist out, and I'm going to try to keep the elbows tucked in against the body, shoulders depressed down, and really dropping the elbows and driving them into the hips. Bam, Boom. like that. Boom. Rear lat spread, right? You're gonna have a neutral spine, you get here. That shows the Christmas tree. I'm trying to show your Christmas tree, you're not like this. Touch my lat, are they pumped? Whoa. Oh, wet. Yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> very wet. <laughs> you want some chalk now? Yeah. You want four plates? Come on. Come on. Good, Quint. Yeah. 
That's a cue. Tell me you want to drop. Come on. Good. Yep. Okay. Boom. Ah. 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 Help me out. Good. That's good. Fucking worked. Oh no. Almost did. Almost. There you go. <laughs> okay, help me out. Good. Again. Good. Again. Come on. Good. Let's go. Dig it. Ryan will be on the last few? Yeah, I mean, not like too much, not too much, yeah. <laughs> okay. Two more. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Uh, Again. Chest forward. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. pull, pull, pull. Okay. Oh. Nice. I feel like I'm starting to get bigger again. Nice. Allure, Allure, Don't focus. tell me what to do. Focus. Don't tell me what to do. Allure, oh, okay. stay focused. Allure, you. Oh yeah. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Good. Try to get this angle too. Use your muscle on the move. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> nice. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Come on. Come on, man. Bring it home. Track and roll. Mm. That's it. Bigger by the ramp. Good. Seven. Uh, beyond. Eight. Oh. Above and beyond. Okay. Good. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Come on, Q. <sighs> yeah. Come on, man. <sighs> Come on, Quentin. <sighs> Good. So that's it for the back portion of things. Um, as you guys see, we started with a rope pullover just to kind of run the lats through full range of motion. And then we went right into that Panada pull down. Another lat row with the uh, prime machine and then ended with this Body Masters upper back row. Oh yeah, AC muscle. So we, got the, we got the new tees and all the best supplements in the game. Use code Shire10. So I appreciate you guys. So are you doing stiffies or just deadlift? I'm going to do stiffies traps. Yeah, okay. So see if you're We're going to go some. We're setting the shot on the ground with a lot of time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 
Take off the ground? Yeah. It kind of stopped like right there. into wearing the Asian muscle socks. Yeah. You know what's cool? Yeah. Free socks. Time on my nails, on my guest posing. <laughs> so it's not the nail polish, <laughs> it's the pro tan. Like a real deadlifter. Yeah, compression socks. <laughs> you get it so hard. It's like a new HD muscle. Oh, yeah. They make your calves look better. Does it? I have two different plates in my gym, and I don't mind if if they're on the bar on the same. Like it's the third plate on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine as long as those match. Like I can't just like mismatch. It's like driving me nuts. Yeah, no, that's how I am too. But if somebody else does it. Yeah, I'll just ignore her. I'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah. So that little block that removes the joint two inches, we have to be like really flexible, like right here. But sometimes yeah. your back has a hard time to like really lock and really contract fully when you're a bigger guy or whatever, right? Well, listen, I think a lot of these things come down to leverages. Oh, yeah. Limb length, you know, torso length, length of your legs. And sometimes people aren't built to go all the way to the ground if you're not doing like a conventional deadlift. Where here, I'm doing a stiff leg deadlift. I'm trying to load the glutes and hamstrings. So the point is for me to keep, I have no movement in my knees. Slight bend, but the, the, but the legs are stiff. And all the movement is in my hips. So it's a hip hinge. I'm pushing the hips back to lower the bar and I'm pushing the hips forward to, to lift the bar. So sometimes the difference of that two inches off the floor can be really uh, advantageous based on your- It helps me fire the glutes and hams. So like straight from the floor, I'm here, but then I'm gonna close my legs and my hands to first. It's a, you know what Stanford Ding's hip thrusts are? Yeah, yeah. They're deadlifts. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Stan Everding was the guy that like, um, always talked about like leg pressing through the floor when you deadlift. Yeah. You know, yeah. grab the bar and then leg press. It's like, that's why I don't like shoes. I know, yeah, I always. I like it's like, would, you, would you do a dumbbell press with mittens? Kind no, mittens, right? No. See, so with the floor, I try to like spray my feet. I grab and I just yeah. push the planet away. Yeah, I don't just. Some of that jazz was talking about. Oh really? He like grips the floor with yeah. his toes, yeah. which I never did that before. But as I'm hinging back and I just like feel that connection through the floor. Yeah. Give it a shot. All right. Give it a shot. Flex your foot. You wouldn't. Dumbbell press and mittens, that's brilliant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. How does this get down here? Yep. Left foot 
first? Left foot first? Yep. Why? Why? That doesn't make sense. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. Left foot first? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You had to let no, it slowly it release. You gotta be locked. Take your butt back a little bit. Chest up. Boom. There you go. Boom. Oh, oh yeah. That's so nice. I know. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fucking great. For some reason, the fact that it's like a little bit angled down. Well, just that, that stretch. That stretch. Is yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I like this leverage bar, it's like perfect. I know, yeah. Really locked in. Yeah, that's amazing. I know, right? Very good. I don't know if it's perfect for the tightness, but you can actually put the seat up or down. Yeah, that actually felt pretty good. Where is that? Oh, one and a half reps, halfway, full, halfway, full. Just add a little bit of tension in the stretch. It's a fun rep to do. Little different techniques. These are called partial, where you just stay at the top. There's also double contraction, where you go up and then back here right away. Double contraction. So just different type of reps. You could also even do 21s, where you do seven here, Seven at the bottom, the seven full. So you can do all sorts of reps. Ooh, all right. Thank you. And the cool thing with bodybuilding is that even if you're hurt, you can have a great workout anyway. Yeah, you can. You can go lighter. Guys, yeah. I think I think that's what separates like the guys at the top from the guys that are at the bottom making excuses for themselves. Yeah. Everybody's dealing with something. Yeah. Robin's a great example. Yeah. I mean, I hear all the time that people can't squat because they've got like a bad hip or a bad knee. You know, I I broke this hip. I broke the femoral head completely. Oh, oh, I got hit by a car. Oh, the mixing or? Yeah, I was riding my bike and oh. I got hit by a car. It's really bad. But you hear of guys making excuses and like we all deal with something. Like you tore both your biceps. Yeah. You know, yeah. and here you are still have you know over 21 inch arms. You know. Yeah. So it's just it's just you gotta find a way. There is a way no matter what. You just gotta around. find it. Yeah. So it's like, I think there is always a bit of a why me perspective with a lot of guys. And you just gotta understand we're all dealing with something. Mm -hmm. Everybody, is, even at the very, oh, very yeah. top, is dealing with something. What helps, you know? what helps me sometimes when I feel like, oh, it's not quite the way I want it, I'm like, yeah, but I look at all the things that are going the way I want. Yeah. All the things I have. So it's uh, pretty much like gratitude is gonna, beat all the other emotions. You can't be angry and grateful at the same time. You can't be like sad and grateful at the same time. So and grateful is, is like a thing you can do consciously. You really start naming things like, I'm grateful that I got my two legs, I can do leg curls, I can do squats, and I get to like do bodybuilding, hang out with like other top athletes. I'm grateful for this gym. I'm grateful that I fucking have all my brain working well, you know, for the most part. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so it's like all these things I can name and like, yeah, even if I can't, deadlift whatever 600 pounds or anymore what as an example i can do everything else yeah. why focus on the little thing you don't have when you can look at all the things you have do you ever uh, like constantly makes lists like that um i i did i would do three a day in the morning yeah. but um i do like 12 step meetings like all week pretty much yeah, yeah. and during those meetings we gratitude is a big part it's yeah. it's always yeah it's a big part of it and it's always one of the subjects that we have. Yeah, good. And um, I use it almost now consciously every day. Yeah. I, mean, I think about like, because I think about, so my brain, how it works is that it wants to destroy my, I want to destroy myself with drugs, that's how addiction is. Yeah. So sometimes my brain, almost every day was going to want to do drugs, but it doesn't, it doesn't think about what's happening after I do them, right? Yeah. So it's like, I have to tell myself, you know what? I don't want to, all the bad consequences and I know I kick up for myself 
So why, if I would do that, I would regret it right away. So why would I not be grateful for right now, which I'm, I'm clean, right? Exactly. So it's just like, I gotta, I always feel like I'm lacking something since I'm a kid. So I have to consciously, every day, be like, you know what? I'm not lacking anything, but it's like, I feel like I am. So I have to consciously look at all the things I have. Just I have to do it all, every day. Yeah, I think it's smart. I think everyone should be constantly reminding themselves of the valuable things they have in their oh, life. Oh yeah, Even sure. if it's just relationships, friendships, Dude, family, mean, loved ones, you know what I mean? Simple things. Like, like if you could just have both your parents at home, and yeah, like, you yeah. can call your dad on the phone, like it's an amazing yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Just having a good group of friends, yeah. you know, a good community like this. You know? I know. Good, uh, great supplements, Shire 10. <laughs> I, you know when I was making my list every day, it could be simple things like I would always make my list with coffee, so half the time coffee was on my list. I'm grateful for coffee. Coffee's amazing. I'm you know? grateful for coffee. Yeah, yeah. Very grateful. I love coffee. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, let's work. I'm grateful for uh, Let's go. Yeah. Alright, that look good? Yeah. Yeah, try that. Right that, even like even more I think, that. Yeah, dude, it sounds so stupid, but I think that actually just really? Yeah, exactly. Like, 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 more now. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Try that. Whatever end goal you is it test feels the same, do that. If not, go back to where you were. So it looks good. Because when you try to do a leg curl with your leg open, you I go think you, that was like Yeah, no, because you're going against I was, putting, I was coming through this I almost like the side of this yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how you break your knee. That's how you know at some it's not always like People twisting because the knee is just this. Yeah, exactly. But when you're turning, it's the hip turning. It's it's not your knee joint. It's your knee is like a simple thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, you, keep, you keep your toes on with your knees. Yeah. Sometimes people can see shit you're not seeing. Even though my legs are right in front of me, I couldn't really see that my hips were pointing out and my feet are a little too far apart. And uh, having somebody here that's well, obviously he's a professional. He's been doing this for a long time, but yeah. Don't be afraid to listen to other people, take advice, implement things, because I think that actually genuinely helped. Uh, yeah. So, thank you. The thing is, like, it's kind of hard yourself when you're all to feel everything that you're doing consciously, right? You're, there's always something that your your body's doing that you don't know that it's doing that somebody else will pick. Hey, why are you doing that? Oh, I didn't notice. Bring it back here, right? I just talked about the button. The way he's holding the handle, he was here in California, his upper back, yeah. and just scoop his hands in. Line, yeah, yeah, step down. And it's like really small, obvious things that like you just don't always see yeah. when you're in it. We were just kind of talking about our splits. He said that he usually does all his hamstring work with his leg day, where I have an additional, a full leg day, but then some additional hamstring work on my back day. So I was telling him it's less about bringing up my hamstrings, it's more about being able to allocate more energy on my leg day towards my quads. So that way I can kind of get some of my hamstring work done earlier in the week. That way that full leg day can be primarily quads. So I can bring these bad boys up. Okay, well, that's back in hamstrings. Me, big Q. I don't know where he's at. In the, in the clouds. Yeah, he's better. He's <laughs> in the clouds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, where are we at here? Yeah, well, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Any suggestions for videos? Write it down. Let us know. And now we'll get to the gym. You've been sitting around for too long watching videos. Time to get a pump. Right? <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.